Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. My name is Dark34, and this is episode 13 of Hogwarts Legacy. <sighs> Alright, uh, let's get started. We will be doing a friend indeed. Alright, a friend indeed. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go to the three broomsticks. I was just fast travel there. Excuse me. There it is. Lurkin! Hey, Katie! Thanks for the lurk! Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> love, love. Yay! That's good. Glad you're doing well. Uh, Alright, I have to go here. Hogwarts! Uh, right here. Glad you came. Wait a minute. Oh, that's uh, hold on. Okay. Let's start then. Sorona Ryan. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How Spice. are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? You're busy doing Russ edit. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I did. Thank you. In fact, we're working together to try yeah, and bring him round. Yeah, it is. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. Then I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aiden passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? 
It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. Ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Can't use my field guide? There we go. Let's say. Have a boot, have a boomstick, mate. Fucking hell. Hey, there's a balloon I can pop. Pop over right now. There. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there are. Oh, hold on. Might as well. There. I do need to collect my rewards. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now I have to find Mrs. Sprottle. Right here. Okay, hold on. Um. I'll just exploration. Wait. Oh. Okay. Fifty one percent or fifty fifty percent, I mean. Okay. Collections. Indeed. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. 
Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. So oh, was easy. also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed fell he Ill. was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed, and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Oh boy. Okay. Rebellion. Let's have a look around. See if I can find that box of letters. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Rebellion. There yet. Uh. Oh, whoa. Uh. Revelio. Sure, that works. Rebellion. Whoa. Either I'll have to fight that troll or avoid it altogether. Ow. Oh, 
Oh shit. That was not a good fight. Okay, so somewhere around here. Corona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Soror. I think that's everything. Soror. I'm going to need more Wigan Well potions. Rebellion. 
up. still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times. Put it mildly. I'm glad I could be of help. <coughs> Mrs. Brottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Alright. Cool. Alright. You're back! Nice to see you again. No, oh, not you. Your potions. you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawen. Save me a lot of time and trouble.
Here he found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> I was never one for adventure myself. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay. What's next? Ooh, yes. Actually... How we do... Yeah, I'll finish this up. Man behind the moon. I gotta get my guide out for the man behind the moon. Behind the moons. Now, Rebellion. Now we can get it. Say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Rebellion. Go to the top again. Alohomora. Alohomora.
No, I can't go. Oh, I can go. Revelio. Okay, I know where it is now. So if we go right here, it's gonna be No, I think I was right. Rebellion. Aloha more. There. Ready for a little Rebellion. fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. Don't you? Mind now, Demi guys. If you need help finding anything,
Hello, Hamora. I got pretty lucky there. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Another, another lock.
Alohomora. Oh my god. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. Mine now, dummy guys. Cool. What is next?
Fuck. Alohomora. Revelio. So we're going over there. Dear, this hamlet is simply crawling with life. Alohomora. Alohomora. Oh, there was something else too. A, a dash of powdered bat spleen, I think.
Revelio. Alohomora. 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 Okay. Right. Alohomora. <laughs> oh, 
Rebellion. Now I just meet the, uh, Mr. Moon. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible, thank you. <laughs> You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. Thank you once again for your assistance and tenacity. All right, cool. Now that you've mastered Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding Demigai's statues and removing those moons. Okay. Huh. Uh, all right. Now we just wait. Okay, uh, let's do this one. The Tale of Roland Oaks. I do, okay, so, hold on. Thirteen plus, which one is that? Zero, one, two, three. What? <gasps> oh, shit. I don't know what happened. I hope it auto-saved.
I think I did, I did I did lose a lot of progress. No. We'll see what happens. Uh oh. Hold on. I think we're back. We're back. We're back, right? We're back. We're back. <laughs> Damn, this is the second time it has happened to me. I know it wasn't turned off properly. I'm hoping auto save saved my ass. We'll see. We will see. Okay. Auto save. Yes, auto save. <gasps> it's <laughs> Yes, I got lucky. <laughs> Very superstitious. Okay, first I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna manually save. All right. There we go. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the quest list. Okay. I'm ready to go. Actually, this time I'm just gonna just fast travel there. What is it again? Uh, fuck. Okay, on the map. Oh, here it is. 
जा सके All right, right here. Let's do it. Let's finish it up. Hello, Adelaide. I received your owl. Thank you for coming. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledy but he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies... Attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I take it you and your uncle are close? We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record-keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, okay. Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? Right. Could be an Hogsmeade. Nope. Hogwarts. Nope. 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 I mean, a uh, world map. I mean.
Let's get this over with, shall we? We're good. Who says crime doesn't pay? Mm. There it is. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Van Rock's loyalists, just ahead. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. A rock formation? That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. A crooked tree, just as the map said. The crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Crumbling tower. Here? What do we have here? Oh, this day's gone for too long. <laughs> Lumos.
best place to be caught alone. Revelio. A ladder. That's what I need. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. What will we find in here? Rebellion. All right. Three galleons. <laughs> Human's word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. 
Bloods on Ranrock's hands. Revelio. Rebellion. I wonder if Adelaide's uncle could be down there. That must be it. Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has no chance of lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard you speak of it. Boiler door. I need to find Mr. Oaks' wand. Where could it be? It's like somewhere right here. There it is. Uh, hold on a sec. Revelio. Rebellion. 
Revelio. from something. Oh. It's it's power. There we go. Get what we're owed. Those goblins in my family weren't in the mines at one time or other. Can 
Fringo. Revelio. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented well, how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. <coughs> Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, <laughs> sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I, her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. Nice.
Sure. Now I have to find my way back. I don't remember where exactly, but... Fall out now. But you can us. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Get free go. Revelio. I do want to get out of here. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, that concludes our playthrough for now. I think I gotta go to bed. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>